Eight Stories, set in California's San Marcos Mountains, skateboarding champion Bob Bernquist drops in. On the world's highest skateboarding ramp, which also happens to be in his backyard. It's scary, you're always scared. The first jump is always, always scary because you just don't know if it's going to work, you know? There is a risk level, and, and, and until you get comfortable with it, you're going to be scared, you know? And if you go down here, you're going to get broken. Only the most elite skateboarders dare ride the $280,000 Mega Ramp. Bernquist built it to push extreme skateboarding to the next level, along with his own career, which includes gold medals at the X Games. You always think that it's, oh man, what else? No, there's no way it can go anywhere. It's like, there's always a way, you know? I mean, I've built ramps in the past. I've built, I've gone into projects from like the corkscrew to that ramp to going out the Grand Canyon and doing that whole thing. But this has been the most challenging. Challenging because it's massive. The ramp is longer than a football field in length, has some 400 sheets of plywood, and even an acrobat's net to keep riders from falling into a creek below. And I didn't even have a blueprint. It was just like I looked at the terrain and where it could fit, and we we're going to design it around the feng shui and the energy of this particular spot. The spot is also where Bernquist lives with his partner, professional skateboarder Jen O'Brien, and their daughter Lotus. I haven't ridden the mega ramp, and I don't really think I want to ride it. I don't know if you guys have been at the top of that thing yet and looked down, but it's pretty scary looking. Sometimes you calculate as much as you can and you try to assess everything that you possibly can, but sometimes just, just close your eyes and go. You just roll in and you all of a sudden you got this massive speed and you're flying through the air and then you land, you got even more speed and then you're just controlling, relaxing, and then you got a huge core pipe in front of you to absorb all your speed and you're done, you land and it's like you can't wait to do it again. Woo! Well that was fun. <laughs> yeah.